and Sun Analytics Information Session. My name is Isha Patel, and I'm the Communications Assistant for the Graduate Science Center, and I'll be your host today. I would like to thank everyone for coming out here today. Let's get started. A quick moment for housekeeping. Please make sure your microphones are muted as we want the speakers to be heard. And please feel free to put your questions and or concerns in the chat. One of our graduate program coordinators will respond to you either in the chat or during the q and I'd also like to let everyone know that this presentation is being recorded today. I would like to acknowledge the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy comprising the Siksika, Pekani, and Kainai First Nations, as well as the Satina First Nation and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bearspot, and Wesley First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. A couple of things as we get started as a little icebreaker, I'll be telling you some fun facts about Calgary that might make you want to join UFC. Calgary is the third most diverse major city in Canada, with more than 120 languages spoken in the city. We're also home to a robust tech and innovation ecosystem, one that is helping us turn into Canada's most adventurous tech hub. A study done by Calgary Economic Development forecasts that Calgary companies will lead the $18.4 billion spend on digital transformation in Alberta through 2022, from cloud computing and artificial intelligence to robotics. Tech is now the way to do business. Digital transformation is a driver of tech investments by Calgary Industries and industry leaders across the city are hiring. And for all my ladies here. It was also revealed that female participation in the technology sector in Alberta is over twice the national average. In fact, 30% of the tech companies in Alberta have a female founder or co-founder. Those were some great facts, weren't they? Well, moving on. Today, we will have a few important people joining us. Dr. Leanne Wu, who is the co-director of this program and instructor for computer science and data science. Dr. Matthew Greenberg, the other co-director and associate professor of mathematics and statistics. Moreover, we have Dr. Raymond Patterson from Haskain School of Business and Dr. June Lee from the Cummings School of Medicine. In addition, we have our graduate program coordinators, Carrie Thacker, Jackie Hunt and Christine Goodwin, the graduate internship program coordinator, Allison Steele, as well as our other co-op student, Joanna Nikolova. So for the agenda, we will be discussing the program overview, have a discussion with our experts on each specialization and have a brief overview of the internship program. And then we will conclude the presentation with a Q&A period. Without further ado, I would like to hand this over to Leanne and Matthew to discuss the data science program in detail. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, Matt and I are really delighted to see uh, so many people here. Um, so I guess, um, Isha and, and the rest of our team will be kind of handling questions in chat as they come up. But what we'd like to do right now is just uh, share with you uh, the structure of the program. Uh, so the program essentially happens in three pieces. Um, so this happens over three semesters essentially with a certificate program, uh, which you would be taking starting in fall 2022. Uh, so there are four courses here. And then following that, um, you have the option of choosing one of three different specializations for the diploma portion. Uh, following that, you actually will um, kind of come back together into a single stream uh, to take on some work integrated learning pieces. So uh, doing the integrated topics course in data science and analytics, and then also doing um, either an internship or a research capstone project. Uh, so Matt, may I hand things over to you to talk a, a little bit more about the certificate program? I believe I'm now unmuted. Uh, so the certificate program lays the foundation for all subsequent studies in, uh, in the data science program. The certificate co uh, program involves courses taught by faculty from uh, the Department of Computer Science and the Faculty of Science and from the Department of Mathematics and Statistics and uh, <clears throat> computer li uh, data literacy, programming literacy, and statistical literacy are major themes. So there are four courses that make up the certificate. Uh, data 601 is a uh, <clears throat> foundational course where you learn about 
uh, data visualization and working with data, and, and you also uh, solidify your Python programming skills. In Data 602, you'll be working mainly in the R programming language and laying foundations of your knowledge of statistical data analysis. Uh, data 603 picks up essentially where Data 602 left off, working with more sophisticated statistical models. And Data 604 changes gears in the computer science portion of the program, and you learn how uh, to manage big data. There's a large database component and DevOps component in this course. Uh, <clears throat> In the, uh, after you've completed the certificate, we then move on to the diploma portion of the program. And as uh, Leanne mentioned, the program at this point trifurcates into three specializations, all right? The, uh, one of the specializations and the one with the largest enrollment currently is the data science specialization. The data science specialization is essentially for generalists and it prepares you for working in many uh, in many subfields of data science. Uh, there are four courses in the diploma specialization, again, taught mainly but primarily by faculty from the departments of computer science and from mathematics and statistics. Data 605 uh, picks up where data 601 left off and looks deeper into data visualization and visualization-based analytics, especially the kind that are actionable and lead to, uh, to decision-making. Uh, data 606 is a uh, continuation of 603, where you continue your statistical, your statistical study, looking at various, various models, both parametric and non-parametric, and data 606 uh, lies, um, sorry, it lays a strong foundation for the uh, contemporary methods of uh, AI and machine learning that you learn in Data 607. I've had the pleasure of teaching Data 607 over the last uh, three semesters, and it's a course I, uh, I very much enjoy personally. Uh, and Data 608 is a, a summatory course in the specialization and really, it allows you to put together a lot of the disparate knowledge that you acquired through the previous courses in the context of developing applications, software applications. There's a large software engineering uh, focus in this course, and it, uh, it will direct you towards software skills for incorporating data and statistical methods in software products. I'll hand it back to you now, Leanne. Mm. Yeah, thanks very much. So in general, when you're, we're thinking about data science, um, we're really thinking about uh, the whole uh, pipeline of processing data, analyzing it, and then being able to tell the, the story of that data. Um, we do have other uh, diploma specializations. Um, so I think next we're going to talk about, for example, the uh, business analytics specialization. So our colleague from the Haskane School of Business, Ray, sorry, Dr. Ray Patterson, uh, he's going to walk you through uh, what would be covered in this specialization. So over to you, Ray. Well, thank you, Leanne. Um, so we have uh, four courses in the uh, business analytics diploma specialization. Uh, in the first half of the semester, so these are taught in the winter semester. In the first half, uh, we have Data Science 611 and Data Science 613. So in Data Science 611, that's predictive analytics. And uh, we're going to go over basic concepts and techniques in predictive analytics, as well as applications for solving uh, real life business problems. These might be in marketing, finance, uh, a variety of areas. Uh, some of the techniques that are gonna be in this course include decision trees, classification rules, association rules, clustering. Um, one of my favorites, uh, support vector machines, uh, instance-based learning, uh, things like that. So uh, the idea is to gain some hands-on experience with examples and cases that are applied uh, in the business context. Uh, the same semester, uh, we have D Data Science 613, which is our introductory data analytics course. And this uh, is uh, currently uh, 
using R, and uh, we're going to use uh, some new techniques and tools uh, for data analytics to uh, discover, collect, organize, and cleaning uh, our data to make it ready for analysis, uh, what I would call data wrangling. Uh, and, and this really is a course that is, um, has data wrangling as a, uh, as a, a strong point uh, in it. Um, so the software tools to uh, interact with the data sources and provide uh, user skills to create business applications. Um, it, again, the applications could be with customers or suppliers, markets, competitors, regulators, whatever the um, uh, business applications are. And uh, software packages are going to be used to clean and organize that data for uh, analysis. We're going to talk about those. And uh, as well as um, uh, the, usually it's the R software. Traditionally, it's, it has been R. Uh, but at that point, uh, you know, whether it's R or Python is largely irrelevant. Um, it is there at, at that level there, uh, they become switchable. So uh, in the second half of the um, semester, we have data science 612 and that's uh, decision analytics. And then here we have um, fundamental concepts and modeling approaches to, um, to integrate into the traditional business uh, technologies, which um, this is the one course where we, we, we kind of, it's a little bit of a retro course because most of the business world is using Excel. We actually are teaching uh, a lot of these uh, simulation and decision analysis techniques using spreadsheets. Uh, and primarily Excel in, in that course. Um, and uh, so that's a kind of an interesting tweak uh, on that. And then uh, simultaneously in the second half, we have data science 614, which is advanced data analytics. And, um, and this is, uh, I, I generally uh, describe this as our most advanced AI course. So uh, of course, it's, the methods are going to include data analysis, uh, both basic and uh, advanced analytic tools, as well as machine learning techniques. And uh, uh, so currently, we're using R in that, uh, in that course. And, uh, uh, but again, at that level, it's uh, largely um, uh, kind of irrelevant whether you use R or Python. Uh, and it is quite a high level uh, that we get uh, everybody to. Um, so there are different me uh, methods such as data mining, machine learning, uh, a variety of uh, techniques are, uh, are explored in, in Data Science 614. So all in all, um, the idea is that um, the um, uh, business analytics uh, students are getting the same topics, more or less, with a few caveats um, uh, that are in, available in the other uh, diploma specializations, but it's uh, focused on uh, the business analytics professionals and the uh, types of data and um, problems that they would uh, be facing. So that's the the key difference. So Leanne, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Okay, thanks very much. Um, and now we can actually talk about our next uh, diploma specialization, uh, which is in health data science and biostatistics. And to do that, uh, I'll turn things over to our other colleague, Dr. Jan Lee from the Department of Community Health Sciences in the Cummings School of Medicine. Thank Jude. you very much, Leanne. Yeah, um, over to you. Yeah, great. It's glad to be here. Uh, glad to see a lot of people here. Um, my way of introduction, I, my name is Jim Lee. I'm a, a faculty member in the Cummins School of Medicine, as Leanne just said. And I'm the acting director of the Health Data Science and Biostatistics uh, Diploma Program. So um, our four courses are 621, 622, 623, and 624. Um, 621 is a statistics course that will um, 
take you uh, further from the foundation uh, in statistics that you acquire in the certificate program. And uh, it, uh, it's uh, more specific to um, health and biostatistics uh, applications. Um, there are some differences between general statistics and biostatistics. So uh, this uh, course will be geared towards uh, biostatistics, obviously. And uh, 622 is an introductory machine learning course, again, focused on solving health problems and uh, dealing with the health data sets. Um, 623 uh, introduces you to different data assets uh, that are commonly available in health um, problems and applications. And uh, 624 uh, is um, advanced exploration and visualization. It has a big focus on visualization, but it also um, um, talks about how to analyze um, rather um, unconventional data. Well, they're conventional, but uh, you know, if you are more familiar with other types of data, then uh, you know, things like time series and text data might be a bit more unconventional to you. So it, uh, it does talk about those data assets and how to analyze them as well. In terms of uh, software tools, um, um, if you could go back to the previous slide, I'm not done over there yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, 622 and 624 are primarily Python, if not just all Python. Uh, 621 is uh, more on the R side, so it uh, does use R quite a bit. And uh, 623 it does not involve a whole lot of programming because it's meant to give you exposure to different data assets and understanding where the data come from. And that course has a lot of uh, guest lecturers from different fields and industries. Uh, but uh, um, if it does use some programming, then it's probably R uh, rather than Python. Um, yeah, and then uh, the last few things that I'm gonna mention uh, are, uh, first of all, uh, you're gonna be on Foothills campus if you're in this specialization as opposed to main campus. So it will be a nice uh, change of scenery, I guess. And uh, um, we run our four courses in parallel throughout the semester uh, as opposed to two plus two model that the certificate program uh, is in. So all four courses will run uh, simultaneously throughout the, throughout the term. Okay, next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so, um, I mean, all this is to say that uh, um, what you learn in this program is very related to precision health. And uh, depending on your application area, you might be closer to precision medicine as opposed to precision public health. But, um, you know, the whole idea behind all this is that um, up to this point, we've been treating you know, patients as average patients. So we conduct large population or cohort-based studies and we learn from them. And then uh, we try to do the best for the average patient. But the problem in practice is none of the patients are average patients in practice. They look very different from those um, average patients. That's what we call them in, in research. So uh, now can we do better than that? Can we be more precise in terms of um, treating, um, you know, the conditions that these patients have and um, can we do, can we make it more customized? So that's the, that's the whole holy grail of what precision health promises. And, and there are many different ways of getting there, I guess, but uh, one sort of promising way is to uh, leverage data as much as possible. We collect lots of data from different aspects of the patient and we put all that data together, make sense of it, and then try to do something that's the right thing for that particular patient rather than for the whole population. So, um, so that's the whole premise. Um, there's a lot going on, um, not only in academic research, but uh, in industries. And there are lots of startups now that do uh, that bring uh, digital innovation to health applications. And uh, um, this specialization will uh, uh, prepare you uh, to be a player in that field. That's it for me. Uh, Le Thank you so much, Dr. June. Uh, Leanne or Matthew, did you want to speak on the master's portion of this program? Yeah, we can absolutely do that. Um, Matt, do you want to take this or? Sure. Uh, so data 691 uh, is uh, it's called Integrated Topics in Data Science and Analytics, and it's exactly that. It's a collection of, I think, currently eight modules so these are each, each of these modules are essentially a one-day uh, intensive course dealing with some 
uh, topic in uh, in data science and analytics. There are also modules relating to entrepreneurship, business acumen, marketing, leadership, and this kind of thing. So some of the more technical integrated topics are uh, cloud computing, time series analysis, deep learning, uh, and I'm sure there are a few that I'm missing that aren't coming to, the, to my head at the moment. Uh, it's a fairly intensive uh, uh, but short course, right? Everything is, it's an all day program for uh, a week or two. And the uh, purpose there is to just, is to build on the knowledge that you acquired in the, uh, in the diploma portion of the program and in, a, in an efficient way, give you a topic, domain and leadership skills you'll need to make the most of the internship portion of the MDSA, which is really the meat of the program. Uh, Leanne, would you like to talk to the internship? Absolutely. I can talk to the internship if you- Even better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, hi everybody, and my name is Allison Steele and I am the graduate program internship coordinator. So you'd be working with me um, should you pursue your master of data science um, and my role is really to support you in securing an internship. And as been, has been talked about in the chat, that could be professional or research-based internships. So we do have a number of students who choose either. Um, the research you are looking to work with someone on campus, um, a lot of students in the um, health uh, stream like to, to do a research internship. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working with people and getting connected with various positions. Um, or if you have a current employer you want to work with, I can work with you and that employer to secure your internship with the company. Um, if you're looking to do a career pivot, then we will help you secure that as well. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are curious as to know where students have been placed in the past. Um, so right now, our current cohort of students in the fall are working for companies like WestJet, um, Suncor. We've got a few with um, the Canada Border Services Agency, ATB Financial, Enbridge, um, Alberta Health Services. I'm not sure if I mentioned that one, Shaw, um, IBM. So it really varies. Um, we've had students in the past who have graduated from our program work for the Canadian Sport Institute, Parks Canada, Deloitte, um, Skip the Dishes, Shell. So you can see it's a really wide range um, of positions that students have been placed with. So my job is to help find those positions and get you something exciting and cool and really end your whole experience on a really high note so that will hopefully lead to um, a job in the future should that be your mission. Um, I work with you to do practice interviewing, working on your resume. We also have a career specialist within our main career services at the University of Calgary who works specifically with master's students. So there's tons of supports and resources for you to help find an internship um, position for you. So with that, I will hand it back to the chat. Thank you so much, Allison. Um, now addressing one of our most common frequently asked questions, what are the program requirements? So for our program, it is required that you have a minimum of a 3.0 GPA in the last two years of your four years bachelor's degree and completion of the three prerequisite courses listed with at least a B grade. If you would like to get more details or inquire about your eligibility, please email us at prograd.science at ucalgary.ca. Another question often asked is regarding the tuition. This is our tuition chart right here, but if you'd like more information on it, please visit the website listed below or email us for a copy of it. Now, I'm sure many of you guys have questions, so please feel free to unmute and speak up or put your questions in the chat. 